Hey everybody, it's Matt from Rock U, back with another One Minute Masterclass. Today's Masterclass, Unity Gain. Now Unity Gain means different things in different musical contexts, but today I'm talking about what it means when you perform live on stage. And I'm talking mostly to guitarists today, bass players, keyboard players, even singers. You may get something out of this, but guitarists pay close attention. When you're playing guitar live on stage, you have a lot of different ways to control the volume of what people in the audience hear. Whether the sound is coming just out of your amp and going straight to the audience, or whether that goes through the house soundboard and the sound person can also affect your volume, you have a lot of control over that too. You probably have at least one volume knob on your guitar. This one has two, some have three. You probably have a couple of different pickup choices, which have different outputs and different volumes. You probably have, at, well, you definitely have at least one volume knob on your amp, but you may have two or even more if you have different channels. And if you're using effects pedals, a lot of those will have a knob also that says level or gain or even just volume. Here's the thing. Sometimes I'm watching a band play on stage and the guitar player steps up to take a solo or maybe switches to a different tone or a different pickup. And they have to fiddle, they stop because the sound isn't right and they have to fiddle around with the knobs. You can avoid this pretty easily. What you want to do during your sound check, or maybe even at home and you take notes or even put little markings on your, uh, on your amp or on your effects pedals, is figure out where the settings should be so that the volume is consistent no matter what you play. For example, if you have two different pickups like I do on this guitar, each one has its own volume knob. And if I'm trucking along here with one pickup, and I decide I want to use the other pickup, that's a lot louder. I don't want that. I want to set that beforehand so that the pickups are the same, have the same volume. Or if I want one of them to be different because I'm going to use it for a solo or a different kind of playing, I should think about that in advance. Same with your effects pedals. If I'm playing clean, which I'm doing now, and I want to switch to overdriven, uh-oh, it's quieter than the clean sound. I forgot to adjust the volume knob on the overdrive pedal so that the volume is the same. So, oh, much better. Again, you may have a foot switch that switches between the channels of your amplifier. You may have different volume knobs for your guitar pickups, and you certainly have volume controls on some of your effects pedals. Check them out before you play. Make sure the volume levels are where you want them to be for each thing that you want to play, or make sure they're just all consistent. Don't, just because it's more overdriven doesn't mean it's louder. And that way you'll have a good performance, and the volume of your guitar will be where you want it to be no matter what you're playing, and you won't turn your back to the audience and start messing around with knobs in the middle of the song. That's it for this masterclass. Join us next week for another One Minute Masterclass.